begin to receive miracles. No, he waits for the time when he says, get ready. Then all of you, you get ready. Then he rings a bell. When he rings that bell, he wants everyone to run. Now, there are moments as a prophet, you will never see me doing these programs. You will never see me anyhow just saying, I want to pray for my partners or I want to pray for my stewards. I don't just do these things. You must be very attentive to say, but the prophet, he, he moves by the spirit of God. He leads him. There are times he will come and he will tell us this and the other. And there's a moment and you will see what I'm doing. There is, the sequence is the same. What I'm saying to partners, what I'm saying to stewards or to the church, I, I move in the same. Because I know exactly right now what is happening in the spirit. There is a bell that every person gets ready. It's a moment God is dealing with the leaders. Last night at the midnight, I was dealing with intercessors. I said, now, I want to pray for you intercessors and let's pray for partners. And, and today, I'm dealing with the same thing. I'm saying I'm in the same, because I exactly know in the spirit right now, God wants people to get ready. And God has now said, Go! It's a moment when some people be behaving like what I did. Like looking around, what's happening? This guy just took a pistol from me and he showed up. Ah. I said, why? <laughs> I said, why? <laughs> I didn't understand, trust you me. Everybody left. And then there was uh, the teacher, one of the teachers there. Because I was schooling at a military school. So it was a military. So there were soldiers. All of them were soldiers. They were in uniform. All my teachers, they were coming in, in the military uniform. So one came there and said, what are you doing? The one who was uh, a supervisor there. What are you doing? Ah, then I started running now. <laughs> ah, it was too late. By the time I was doing like uh, 10, 10 meters, everybody had already arrived there and they were coming back. So it's like we went opposite. It's as I was running, this, they are coming from front of me. And they, they're all going in this direction. And I ran like this. I didn't come back. I just continued there and disappeared into classrooms. <laughs> <laughs> and disappeared in the classrooms. <laughs> I, ah, no, 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 no. And the, the, the teacher was like, ah, what happened with you? I'm like, ah, no, that's not my spot. That's not my spot. <laughs> I was trying to find what type of sport <laughs> I can do at school. <laughs> so I also went for where they do, you know, uh, where they do uh, 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 volleyball. So I, I, I went and I joined. I just joined and out of excitement. I just joined there. Like, some of you can agree with me if you ever tried every game. You agree with me. You go and try it and say, ah, this thing is not mine. So I went there and then, and then they, they start, they start the, you know, the volleyball. They hit the ball. Boom. And then I'm ready to hit it also like this. It, it came straight on my face. I said, ah, no, it's, it's good. We will do next time. <laughs> It came on my face, like I'm busy, like I'm waiting to, to hit it. And everyone is hitting the ball. Bah, bah, bah. It's moving like this, it's moving like this, it's jumping the net, it's going like that, it's coming like this. Everyone is able to hit it. And I'm all, oh, it's coming to me. Then there's, it's coming on you. And when I hit it, it came straight on my face. I said, ah, it's fine. <laughs> it's not mine. But there are instructions which are given in each game. But if you don't do them, you see, if, if there's a penalty, in football, penalty, proper penalty. Then, then they say it's you who's gonna hit the penalty. And then you hit and you score before the referee blows the whistle. They'll give you a red card, and they will say this is this this is not a goal. So you must wait for instruction to hit at the right time. Yes, isn't it? So there are things in the spirit when the referee blows. And it says, now I want to do it in my church with my leaders. Bless them. Let, let them know 
I want to heal with them, to deliver them. And they should, don't, don't appear as just a person. You should appear to say, God, you use me in this church. I am your leader. You use me. There are so many ways you use me in this church. So I am here. You, you bring that. You know, it's like one time I was in church. I was preaching in Pretoria. So I went in the overflow, and in the overflow, there was a group of choir at the corner. Okay? A group of choir at the corner. And this group of uh, choir, just check First Corinthians 9, verse 24, of what I was saying. First Corinthians 9, verse 24. The Bible says what? First Corinthians 9, verse 24. Yes. Do you know that all in the race, all the runners run, but only one gets the prize. Run in a such way as to get the prize. So today, we're all running, but the one will get the prize. Who is that person that I'm talking about? Now, let's continue. Then the Bible says, Everyone who competes in the games, in the games, goes into strict training. Very strict. So when I come here, I'm training you, I'm teaching you, I'm doing, I know what God is saying. The Bible says anyone who wins, they don't just win in the spirit. They go via what? Strict training. He says, they do it to get a crown. That will not last. But we do it to get a crown that will last forever. So when we're in church, when we're attending Zoom, when we follow the prophet, when we sit down, we are going through a training because there's a crown we want to get. She was, are you ready for prayer? If you're a man of God, if you're a pastor and, and you are struggling financially, your family is devastated, your children, you don't know what to do and you're a man of God, a woman of God and you're here and, and, and some of you are running branches, some of you are leaders, some of you are in, in the tribe of Joseph. I, uh, uh, my, my leaders and you are passing through certain situations and I have come here. I have come here to pray for you that let there be a miracle. That disease must leave you. That pain must get out. That financial debts must walk out. Once you're facing as a leader, you must receive a miracle in the name of Jesus. Now raise up a hand now, wherever you are. Raise up a hand. What is it that you are facing? Is it that you are having a delay in a particular area. Are you having a delay in a particular area? I command speed. I see. Say, Father, Father as, a leader, as a leader of this church, of this church as someone you have entrusted, to help, to help in one way, in one way or, another, or another in this church, I present myself to you. Father, as you touch others, do not pass me by. Oh Lord, touch me now and I will be touched. Serve me and I will be served. Deliver me for your mercies and yours forever. Father, I believe in your prophet. And I believe that you can use him to change my story. Change my story now. Change my story now. Change my story now. I receive my miracle right now by the power and the name of Jesus. Say now, by the power of Jesus. Father, touch your leaders now wherever they are at this moment. 
as you told me to do, I have done it. As you said, bring my leaders together and make a prayer for them. And I, the Lord, I make a solemn promise that I will answer their prayer and that I will show them mercy and my salvation. So, Lord, I have done it. For Father, in time past, you spoke through your servant Moses to bring all the leaders together. And when he brought them together, then your word says that your spirit came down. Father, I believe tonight, as I brought my leaders together, your spirit will come down. Your spirit will come down. Your spirit will come down. Your spirit will move. Your spirit will touch. Your spirit will heal. Your spirit will deliver. Your spirit will provide. Father, these are not just mere people. They are used in your kingdom in one way or another. They are not just servants. They are people who are used in your ministry. They save you, Lord. Father, for whatever they do, remember them. For whatever they are doing, Father, remember them. For whatsoever they are doing, Father, remember them. Remember them. Remember them. Touch them. Touch them. In the name of Jesus. There are people who receive questions in heaven. God will say, I gave you a calling to do and you did not do it right. It is not proper for a leader to be concerned by the affairs of this world. Your life is sold to Jesus and that's where you live. This is why I'm not shaken and moved by anything in this earth because I'm not bowed by this earth. I am a kingdom-minded man and I want to tell you as my leaders that nothing should shake you. You must shake it. I have made a very powerful statement just now. And to shake me, let me tell you. Anything that comes to shake Major One, I, I, I twist the event. I begin to shake it. I'm telling you, this I can promise you. Anything that comes to me to shake me, I twist the event. I look to it and I say, you are the one I'm shaking. Somebody was telling me yesterday, I said, oh, uh, you know, man of God, I have been following you and how God raised you. And you went on the peak. And um, hey, it's so sad that you're passing through what you're passing through now. Hey, we were really admiring you. I said, hey, I said, watch me until the year end. I said, you should now come back and tell me whether what you saw was the peak or what you're going to see by the year end, by the this year, as we be, as to be finishing. I said, watch me. I said, sit down. I said, sit down and enjoy the series. I said, I said, we'll sit down and enjoy the series. I said, right now, sit down and enjoy. Watch. God is my executive producer. I am the actor in the main movie. I'm telling you. What I'm passing through now is part three. Part four is coming. But the four is coming. But four is coming. I said, so he looked at me. He said, hmm? I said, listen. I said, you have never seen me at my peak. I said, that was useless, what you saw. I said, watch me until the end of this year. And then you come and tell me. He said, ah. What do you mean? I said, I'm telling you. I said, I'm telling you. So the person was so surprised. I said, like, what is he talking about? Today? What, what you're passing through right now, you, what you're going through right now is part two. But three is coming. But four is coming. But five is coming. The world has not seen anything yet about you. If they think they have seen you at your peak, they are joking. I'm challenging them, they are joking. Sharakato Yaplaso there.
Somebody said they're joking. They have not seen you. They, they don't know you. They have not seen you in your brightness. All the noise, you know, they'll be like, ah, you know, you know, you used to do well. You are not familiar with doing well. You only know in doing best. They have not seen you in, the, in doing best. Like, hey, he's living the best of his life. They saw you doing well. They have not seen you at your best. And as I'm speaking to you right now, angels who will be guarding night and day, they will be guarding this word of prophecy. They have been dispatched to make sure that my word has come to pass. I'm telling you, normally, one time God spoke to me, he said, he said, he said, you, you, you have this, you have that, you have this, you have this. He said, by the end of this month, you have them. The month finished, I didn't have anything. I prayed again, and he said, this month, by the month end, you will have, you have this. And he mentioned, by the end of the month, I didn't have it. One, and then the whole year finished. I, 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 I doubted and I gave up. I can't lie to you. I must confess. I doubted and I gave up. One day, I was with Hala in the plane. I said, Hala, we're in the plane with this. I said, Hala, listen to me. I said, in two months, I'm going to have this. Two months finished. I didn't have it. I now gave up. It is that night that God told me, he said, the problem with you, you are not calling angels to guard the word of prophecy, to defend the word. That night I stood up. I said, oh God, do you know, do you know that there are angels that guard, guard what God said? Do you know you need angels that can protect? Do you know that there were special angels that had to go and tell Joseph to say right now, Someone wants to kill your child right now. God, angels that can guard what God has said. So I now prayed that night. I said, God, what you said, it is in that week that all I said, and I've been believing God for a year and months, happened in one in seven days. Because angels to protect, to guard the word which God said had come, and now they were guarding it. You see, I can say something to you, it will become useless. Because you need, you need angels that can guard. Do you know even God right now where he is? Do you know even God himself, there are people, I mean the angels that are there as guards. What are you thinking yourself? Who do you think you are? That you can just stand like this and, and, and just operate. Who do you think you are? To a level where the devil knows. And he tells Jesus to say, is it not written? That the moment you want to fall, angels will guard you and hold you from falling. You must pick these things in the spirit as leaders. You must know. Any word that the prophet said and declared in my life, I call angels that can guard this word. As the prophet says, tonight is my night as a leader to receive my miracle. Father, guard your word. What you said, they must come to pass. Lord, God, protect your word. Let it happen. I bless you and I pray for you. Angels that they operate. Angels that guard his word. This word I've told you that it shall be a multimillionaire. Yes. They will come to see to it that has taken place. I decree this in the name of Jesus. I declare this in the name of Jesus. As a steward, I bless you. Any problem you have, 
Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command that problem to come out. I command that problem to come out. Let there be testimonies upon you and your family. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 I love you, stewards. God bless you so much. This is what I wanted to do, to pray for you. Your situations will change and God will guard what I have said to you. You are my leaders, you are my pastors, my stewards. Any position you play, kingdom, finances, you are partners, you sponsor the ministry, whatever you do, may God remember you. In Jesus' name. You will never be the same again. I said you will never be the same again. Now I want I want them to sing a congratulations song for you. Congratulations. Congratulations. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'll be seeing you again on the leadership meeting. Shalom.